if I died tomorrow, my father wouldn't understand what I'm doing. My father was a maths teacher in the mountains of Lebanon. He still doesn't understand why am I teaching Indian maths, the speed maths, we can calculate like a genius. I love the patterns, the symmetry, the discoveries I get. To me, they're epiphanies. Me personally, going deep into the language of numbers and geometry, I find that some greater intelligence has put all this together. But I believe that there's going to be a handful of students that are going to stand on my shoulders, my vast 40 years of research, and take it into the future. I want to translate this stuff into simple textbooks and online courses so that any child in the world can access this. At the age of 20, I gave away everything I owned. I was searching for mathematical meaning. Relationships are difficult for me because I'm so in love with what I do. Something happened to me in 1984 where a man put a blade, a kitchen blade went right through my heart. So having your heart pierced could shut you down. So in a way I've become kind of a hermit that desires and craves to be in silence. I really want to just be alone. I really believe that the information that I'm putting into my 30 books, mainly for children, is that there could be one diagram in there or one mathematical code that they're going to be so inspired by that it's going to enter nanotechnology or a telescope design or satellite technology. These students are going to learn the essential ancient knowledge and reinterpret it so that the technology is raising the consciousness of the planet. So even though I've, I've achieved a lot in my life, I feel like I'm only just beginning to get this work out into the world. To me, I'm living for the moment where my students will take this knowledge into the world and make it global.